Hello! My goodness, this is Starship Simulator Tech Demo. This is the free demo that's available on Steam. The game is not even in early access yet, if I understand how that, this works correctly. We just got this demo, but it looks awesome. This is like my dream game, so... Uh, we should probably do a training module first. Here we go. Engineering cold start sequence. That sounds fun. That's right up my alley. Here we go. In this module, we will review the correct procedure for starting up the ship's fusion reactor and then supplying power to the vessel. So we're going to follow the waypoints. So the, the ship is currently turned off and it is cold and dark and she's turned on our torch. This is neat. It's got uh, different color accessibility stuff. I was looking for less vibration when I walk, but we'll, we'll see. Or less screen wobble when I walk, but we'll be fine. All right. Uh, F deck. I've reached F deck. Oh, it's curvy. Dun, 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 dun. What's in here? It looks like the library. Or maybe like a replicator situation. I don't know. I'm getting sidetracked. Okay. Oop. Here we are. This looks like the main reactor. We gotta go down the stairs to the lower deck under the reactor. Some more wondering to do. The startup distributor. I'm entirely lost, by the way. Startup distributor. Here we go. G deck breakers. G deck forward. G deck starboard. G deck aft. G deck port. And now the F deck breakers. Hmm. There we go. G deck. Online. She's coming online, Captain. This room is, uh,. Seems like a good spot for, uh, uh, sparring, maybe, or racquetball. Okay, how do we get out? Oh, it even makes the sound! Ah, oh, it's so good! On the left-hand side, we have the coolant section, which coolant is... Coolant leak! Helium. So go ahead and switch the reactor to startup mode by pressing the indicated button. Okay. So, we need to... Something about a bus, and... Oh, gosh, this room looks so cool! I like the reactor room. All right, let's press the startup button. Isolate. Reactor mode select startup. Great. Now that the reactor has power, we can activate the vacuum pump to start purging the confinement chamber. All right, we want a vacuum in the confinement chamber. So we're going to go to the storage room with a cryogenic storage. Excuse me. Head behind the storage tanks to access the helium cryo cooler. I love this so far. Okay. It's got an on button. Look at that. Excellent. It doesn't look like it's filling up. Oh, it is. Okay, I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, helium coolant tank. Good. This is like... I can't believe how cool this is. Alright. So, these valves don't Open look the like they're connected to anything. Uh, I think this is not finished. <laughs> I assume it's not finished from a development perspective, but I, it looks not finished in a in a physical perspective. I'm not sure I want to open this valve. But it's not connected to anything, so that's fine. All right, open this valve. The reactor is now being supplied with all the fuel and coolant it needs. Hooray! I didn't Follow fully track that, but that seems the readily learnable. Can you imagine if, like, you had a whole, a whole crew of multiplayer people and there were, like, you know, humans manning the engine room? This is great. This is so good. I just, I, don't, I wish my head didn't bob quite so much when I walked. It's making me a little dizzy. Okay, got to cool those magnetic field coils. Initiate. Congratulations. You have now successfully started the fusion reactor. For safety, increase the power level to 100% using the indicated controls. I love this sound. Ah, uh, this is so cool. All right. Increase the power. Scotty, give me that power. Okay, wait. This is the main battery distributor. It takes the reactor output and distributes it to the eight battery rooms on... F deck. Okay, I didn't quite follow that, but connect all eight output breakers. Emergency solar array. A makeshift solar sail. This will, if successful, generate power to keep us alive. External feed. Okay, that's if we're docked. Follow the waypoints on your HUD to port battery room one. Gotta go up the stairs. Uh, I'm lost. There we go. F deck. Oh my goodness, this this star <laughs> this starship is better than any starship I've ever seen. It has a bathroom. Unlike all starships known. Uh amazing. Okay. Okay, so it was batteries that goes in here, not not like food. Okay. 
Um, don't get those two mixed up. So now we're gonna go down to the maintenance hall, uh, maintenance tunnels to connect all the batteries to the different sections of the ship. Oh, here we go. Can I turn on my torch? There we go. You could have a horror episode in these corridors. Look at this. <sighs> I can just picture a de-evolved wharf coming after us. I like how the ship is big, but not like inconceivably so. Oh, I can run. He's after me, Captain. Getting in my steps. Um, I'm a little lost. G deck. Oh, got a door. Okay, there we go. All right, so you are here. Oh, I'm here again. All right. <laughs> I keep ending up in the same place. Every time I say I'm lost, this is where I am. Okay, I'm connecting something to something else. I have gotten okay. lost. So we're connecting all the different batteries to the different decks. Yeah, A deck starboard, B deck starboard, C deck starboard, D deck starboard, E deck starboard, F and G. You know what this also reminds me of is uh, Jurassic Park. I'm turning on the breakers. Any second now, a Velociraptor's gonna come after me. All right, we're gonna put power to the port side. Deck A, deck B, C, D, E. That's better. Now huh. we can really see what we're doing. Wow. If you had like, you know, four people, you could you could split up these tasks and get it done very quickly. Oh, I love these catwalks. Look at this. Luckily, Instant Fletcher was there to grab me. It's a long way down to the bottom of the warp core. Oh, this is pretty. Who would have thought? Oh, wow. It's got plants. I want to explore, but let me just finish this tutorial. Science labs. It's space. Look, you can see the outside of the ship out the window. That is so good. And there's Earth, I think. Uh, well, before, instead of sitting down and having a coffee, uh, or, or a wine, or an apple, maybe? Prop name. Um, let's go this way. Oh, I like these walls. Conference room. <gasps> I am so distracted. Executive officer's office. I want to be the executive officer on a ship this cool, but it seems I am... Maybe I'm the engineer, or maybe I'm stealing the ship because there doesn't seem to be anybody else aboard. Bridge. A deck. But with this sun flare, it could be a J.J. Abrams movie. Uh, sorry, what? Head over to the A deck distributor in the engineering alcove. I'm just so excited to be here, you know? Just jazzed about being on the show. Oh my goodness, it looks like a bridge. Amazing. Looks like this is the captain's chair, so let's sit down. Condition normal. Yellow alert. Red alert. Emergency lighting. Good. Red alert. Oh, that's so cool. Well, we did it. We turned we turn the ship on. Look at the ceiling. Look, there's Wolf 359. I'm just in heaven right now. United Nations Space Fleet. UNSF. UNSF Magellan. Nav target. In the center of the galaxy, apparently. Why is our nav target Sagittarius A star? That seems like a bad idea. Maybe we're gonna go see... Well... I won't spoil Star Trek V, but... Don't, don't, you don't have to watch Star Trek V, so that's fine. Alright, let's do the bridge scanning and navigation tutorial. You can change the lighting temperature. We can lock the door. One, 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 one. Lock. Now Worf can't get in until he breaks through. So now we can't get out unless we remember our code. All right. Sensors. Okay, so we got different like zoom levels, galactic, stellar, and star system. The range controls allow you to Ooh. find you. All right, I want to go to Saturn. Interesting. So if you only have one person, somebody's got to be over there. Somebody's going to be over here. You got to run back and forth. Use sensor target. You can now engage the FTL system when you are ready. I think that perhaps I might not do that. Um, hang on a second, Ava. I have changed my mind about my destination. Oops. Let's sit in the chair. Let's select Jupiter instead of Saturn because it looks like... Send that to Helm. Because it looks like Saturn is on the other side of Earth. F. Um, use sensor target. There we go. Now we can go to Jupiter instead of crashing into the Earth. 
And we've already engaged the autopilot. Let's wait for it to even itself out here. Here we go. While the autopilot is engaged, I will manage the ship's speed and final approach to the target. Oh, orbit. that's so good. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. We jumped into warp, but we didn't... Oh, that's so good. It's Jupiter. Are there Borg here? I, I loved what just happened. I couldn't really narrate what it was. As we left Earth, we didn't move at all. Like, Earth didn't move beside us at all until there was the boom from entering the warp. And then Earth started to slip away because only then did we have an FTL field around us. That's so good. Okay. Our local stellar neighborhood. As before, it's you can use a the beautiful day in the stellar neighborhood. The All right, Alpha Centauri, no data. Now we have to scan. Long range sensors, scan Alpha Centauri. G class star. Important data points. Three terrestrial planets zone. and two gas, one this gas dwarf and one gas giant. System. Habitable zone extends from 5.6 to point, oh, point 0.56 to point something with its first frost line. Oh, okay. So we actually want to go to the first one. Let's go to the, the first one. Okay. Send to helm. But aren't we going to crash? I think we're just going to fly through it because we probably don't have collisions enabled. So let's just... Pretend this isn't happening for a second, or we have one of those uh, Phoenix cloaking devices. Here we go. The Milky Way galaxy uh, is the takes over. <laughs> Reactor draw, velocity. There we go. Passing the sun. I have target imminent. Here we go. Arriving. Amazing. You can change its name, its prefix, its registry number. And you can change the flooring and walls and UI panels and lighting. That's amazing. Okay, cancel. All right, before I stop, I'm going to see what Start a New Mission actually does. Here we go. All right, heck, we might as well go to Mars. Let's go to Mars. Let's uh, send that to Helm. Let's sit here. Use sensor target. Engage autopilot. Okay, that's Mars all right. I don't know what I expected, but that's Mars. Okay, coming to a stop. Are there any other buttons? No. Work in progress. That's the shield. That's the... I think this is all that we can do right now, right? Yeah. Okay, so nothing else... Whoa. Did it just get dark? Is that me? Maybe I'm standing inside the... Oh, it's because I was standing inside the projector. <laughs> so nothing else other than what we have seen, it looks like, is is implemented as far as I can tell. But one more thing we'll do is we'll we'll go to one other place. Let's just find another spot to go to and then I'll be done. And let's go to Sirius. I've spent a good amount of time when I used to play a more Elite Dangerous and a Helm. Which I might pick up more again, but I when I was initially playing it, I actually spent a lot of time at Solo Orbiter in the Sirius system. That's wrong. That was an Altair. I want to go to Altair, not Sirius. I wonder if I can find Altair. Lots of Hipparchus objects. Altair, there it is. Altair is where they go in Forbidden Planet, so that's why we got to go there. Use sensor target. Which way is it? It's that way. Now look, Bernard Star is like going by out the window. What? That's insane. I called it Bernard Star, didn't I? Bar Barnard's? I don't know. Oh, there's an orbital positioning panel. I'm excited for that to be implemented. I wonder what that's like. So I think this game, um, what I've heard in other people's videos, in particular Obsidian Ant did a video on this recently. I think that's how I found out about it. Um, so it sounds like they're going to go into f uh, a crowdfunding project soon. This is not so much a game recommendation. This is a free demo, so you can try this out. You can try out this free demo anytime you want. I guess I don't have to sit here anymore, do I? I could get up. We can walk around while we're at warp. We're arriving. There's Altair. Meanwhile, this ship arranges its own eclipses. And here we arrive. There it is. There's the eclipse I was talking about. We arrived on the dark side of the planet, but that's fine. Well, I'll uh, I'll scan it and and do surface research and stuff in my imagination or whatever. I also I also like that I feel like if I fiddled around enough, I could probably turn everything off. Yeah, in fact, I know how to do that, don't I? Disconnect. Bridge lighting. <laughs> that's so good. 
Um, if he did play in a multiplayer and I was playing, though, uh, I would be a menace. There, <laughs> there goes all the lights. All right. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to stop now. But if you've been joining, thank you very much. Live long and prosper. And uh, yeah, this this is awesome. All right. Bye-bye.